Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany of BrittanyJJones.com. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. I hope that you will like what you see and subscribe below for more. In today's video, I will be sharing everything that I made in the month of June. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I made is probably top three favorite of all time. <laughs> and that is this McCall's 7683, the sequin gown that I made. Um, I made this and I wore it to Mimi G and Nora's Ford wedding. And it was just amazing. I absolutely love everything about this dress. Um, yeah, it's definitely a favorite. <laughs> so um, I did create a video kind of talking about the fabric, the size I cut, showing you a little bit of the inside. So if you want to watch that video, you can check it out here. But I did purchase all this fabric that I used in supplies from Joann's. This was some of their sequin fabric, um, the lining from Joann's. Um, and that pattern, 7683 from McCall's, is um, like a mix and match pattern. So you could take the bodice and you could pair it with a different skirt that's on there. It was only two skirts. No, it was, it was three skirts actually. It was one that was shorter and then was one with the train and then it was one um, with the split and I used the one with the split. <laughs> um, but I just loved it. It's a knit dress so I didn't have to install a zipper. There's no buttons, no closures. I literally just pulled this dress over my head and went to a wedding. <laughs> um, yeah, I love it. Love, love, love this dress. Definitely gonna stay in my closet. Um, I'll be re-wearing this probably to a military ball later this year or something. Um, but yeah, definitely one of my top, top favorite makes. I just love everything about it. So that's one thing that I made in June. The next project that I made was actually a swimsuit. Um, I used Megan Nielsen's PDF. I believe it's the Codicil, her latest swimwear pattern. Um, I made that. And here it is. I absolutely love this swimsuit. This was my first time making a swimsuit and I think I did pretty good for my first try except for one mistake and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. <laughs> but this fabric I absolutely love. It was from fashionfabricsclub.com. I believe it's all sold out now, but um, I made the one piece suit and it's like a little curve in the back. It fits amazing, absolutely love it. I wrote a blog post about it talking about the size that I cut because I did do a little bit of grading. I think it's a 16 maybe um, around the bust and the 18 and then 20 at the hips. So I, if I remember correctly, that's what I did. But definitely go check out my blog post if you want to know exactly <laughs> the size that I cut. Um, but I just love this swimsuit. It's lined, fully lined, and I also inserted some bra cups in it. Now, the mistake I made was, like I said, it's my first time. <laughs> I sewed my bra cups up upside down. <laughs> um, but I'm going to wear it anyway. <laughs> Who's going to check my bra, my bra cups? <laughs> um, but I just love it. I think it's super cute. And I also made another one. I, did, I haven't taken photos in this one yet, but this one, I did a little color blocking, yes. But I made this suit right after I made this one. I was like, oh my gosh, let's do another one. That one turned out so great. <laughs> but this one is not lined and um, super, super easy to sew up. So if you want to make a beginner's swimsuit pattern, definitely check out um, Megan Nielsen's newest swimwear PDF. So that was the second project, some swimwear. The next project that I made was this McCall's jumpsuit. I believe it's a 7936. And I absolutely love this jumpsuit. First of all, I used a linen rayon blend from LA Finch Fabrics. That was a win. <laughs> Y'all know I love linen, so I was all for um, that fabric. And I just think it worked really well in this jumpsuit. The jumpsuit sewed up really easy. If you want to check out the sew along, I made one for it. You can watch that video here. Um, and yeah, it's just a really great beginner friendly jumpsuit. We install a zipper, we install pockets. We even do a thread chain loop. Like, I love this jumpsuit. <laughs> So uh, yes, this was the third project that I made and it is a win. 
The next two projects that I made were from the same fabric. I made this in collaboration with uh, Fashion Fabrics Club. I used some of this beautiful shallots that they had in stock and I made a Simplicity 8707. This is a kimono. I did have to shorten it just a little bit, I think by like seven inches because I didn't have enough fabric, but this is just one of those things you just want to throw on to kind of jazz up your outfit. <laughs> Um, and I just love it. I always just kind of pair it with some shorts and a tank top and throw this on and I'm good to go. So this was the first thing that I made out of that fabric. And the second thing that I made was this little wrap skirt. This is like a little vintage pattern that I found in my mom's stash. I think it's Butterick 49. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to put the pattern up here, but I know it's an old pattern. Um, and like I said, I found it in my mom's stash and I just thought this was a super cute skirt. This sewed up really great and I probably will revisit this pattern soon because I really love the way it fits. I love how easy it is to just pull on and go. So this was the other project that I made using that chalice from Fashion Fabrics Club. The next project that I made was a super cute romper. I used McCall 7607, I believe, or 06, um, to make this really cute, let me zip it up, this really cute and um, simple little romper. And I've had this pattern for a while in my stash and I wanted to make the jumpsuit on it, but I didn't have enough fabric. Um, so I made the romper and I love it. The romper is so cute, it's easy to wear and it's really comfortable. Um, one thing I love though is this fabric. I think this fabric was amazing. This is um, a Katie Cormitt design, fabric design, and she did an exclusive three different types of prints. They were printed onto rayon fabric and they were, are sold exclusively from DNH Fabrics Co. So this was the romper that I made. The next project was this McCall's 7922 white linen twist front dress. Love. <laughs> I love this dress and I did record a sew along for it. So if you want to watch that, you can click right here and follow along with me to make this super cute um, and just really beautiful dress. I, I love this dress. I love the twist front detail. I love this little center front detail here with this little flap situation. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Uh, this little front band, I just think it's so, so cute and I love this dress. This white linen, the fabric is from the fabric store online and I just love it. <laughs> I love, love, love this dress. I probably should have lined it, which is why I didn't take, I took some pictures of the back of the dress, but I could not post them because it was a little see-through. <laughs> So I did not post those pictures. Um, next time I wear it, I'll definitely wear like a slip or something under it. But um, this is a really, really beautiful dress and I love it. So that is all for my June makes. I really do hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down for me below. I'll be more than happy to answer. And yes, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Blessings, everyone. Bye.